Hey folks, Walt Biscardi with you on my very first little lesson here on color. And the first thing you're going to notice the very first time you launch color is, hey, this thing looks a lot different than anything you've probably ever used on the Mac. And the first thing it presents you with is this little dialog box. Again, if you've never launched color before, the first time you've launched it, it wants to know where to put all the media. It wants you to choose a media directory. Typically, this would be your media drive, the fastest drive that you have on your system. In my case, it's a SATA array. To assign the media directory, very simple. You hit Browse, and you're presented with a blank box. We go up here to the uh, upper left, and this simply keeps moving us up levels in our directory on the system. You just keep hitting it until you get to the very top, which generally shows the application folder in the upper left. This little slider here, you can actually uh, make the icon bigger or smaller can't always read everything that's underneath it so when you see the application folder or you just can't go any higher you're now at the root level of your system we scroll all the way down and right here I've got a folder called volumes these are the hard drives that are on your system when you double click this you should now see every single hard drive that's available on your system in my case this is the secondary drive that's installed inside my Mac that's my main Mac hard drive and then this is the SATA array this is where all of my media is stored, and this is where I want color to go ahead and send all of my renders to when it's done rendering. So I simply double click it, and I come down here, and I say choose. And as we can see, the media directory is now volume slash Mac digital. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm ready to actually start a project. And of course, before we can start testing color, we need to create a project. I'm just going to come down here and call this test project. Now, on my system, again, as you can see, we're still in the same dialog. I can go ahead and just start stepping up levels of the directory of my Mac. And again, we'll make this a little bigger so you can read everything. And again, I'm all the way at the top level with my application. In my case, I have a projects folder right here on my main Mac hard drive. This is where I store all of my projects. I'm going to double click that. And then I have a color project folder that I created as well. Double click that. I'm going to say save. And the moment I hit save, I'm now in the project. As we can see right here, I am in color test project. Color is now open and ready for us to play with. So there you go. That's how to set up your media directory. And that's how to create a project. Hope that gets you started.